Welcome, my name is Tuoms and in this video I will show you how to do headstand or shir shasana. There are two main ways for doing supported headstand, triangle and tripod. For the triangle it's easier for your neck but harder to maintain balance because your arms are closer to each other. But for tripod it's easier to maintain balance but it's harder for your neck because all the weight come, comes down to your neck. And even though the triangle is a bit more harder on your shoulders and requires a bit more strength, I feel it's safer, now let's start with that one. If you are just starting out or doing it after a long break, I would recommend doing it by the wall so you don't have any fear of falling over to the backside. So let's start with the triangle. First, we put our hands down on the ground and measure the distance to the wall. So, so we want the hands almost touching the wall and elbows bend to each other. Then we open up arms, interlace the fingers and put the top of the head between the hands. Lift the legs up and walk so our back touches the wall. Once there, lift up the legs. You can lift them both together one by one or pick up if you have any problem lifting on its own. And then you have it, the headstand. Exit is important as entrance. Try to go as slow and controlled as you can. And unless you're trying to film a fail video, when you fall down and break something, I would recommend before starting out the headstand in the middle of the room or anywhere else to take a look around, if there's nothing around, when you fall, that you could break. And before starting the headstands, let's see some drills we can do before to make sure we know how to fall. So first of them, let's try rolling back and forward, putting arms to the front and roll to the front and to the back. If you're able to do this one, you're pretty safe to try headstand on your own in the middle of the room. Next one, let's take a look at the tripod. For me personally, it's easier to fall out of it because my hands are not interlaced and I feel more freedom falling out of it. And for a demonstration of tripod, I will do it in the middle of the room. I would recommend you to master it by the wall first and then move on to the middle of the room. So for the tripod, we want to make a triangle from your, with our arms and with our heads. So if you put your arms right in front of you, make sure you put your head in front of the arms so you can see them. Typical mistake people do is put their head just in between the arms. And this is a mistake because then you don't have leverage, you don't have a triangle support to balance yourself out. So put your head in front of the arms, lift up the butt, straighten the legs and walk your legs closer to your head. Once you're ready, lift the legs up and stay in your headstand. As before, exit is as important mm -hmm. as entrance. Try to go as slow and controlled as you can. Just to get over the fear, always be prepared to fall backwards. Let's try it. So. As I said before, always before practice, make sure there's nothing around that you could break in case something goes wrong. And that's half step for you. If you liked the video, please like, share, comment your experience with your headstands. I wish you a nice day. Always remember to smile, be present, and see you on the next one.